and he, he just he just does the right thing and he treats people the right way and perhaps that's the number one reason um, I wanted to bring him to the camp um, along with the fact that he, that he knows that he knows his stuff on the rest now. So please welcome Tyler Schreiber. Pushing, keep pushing, 
through, through number 100. You know, keep going until that buzzer sounds, until that rep blows the whistle. Okay? That's, how you, that's how you get better. That's how you put as much in that bank account as you can. And, uh, and yeah, that's where you guys are at. You guys are doing a really good job. Um, so, I guess the task that I want to ask of you guys is later tonight, if you have a notebook, I see a lot of you guys do, you know, think, think of a couple of things, three things, three goals you have in your life. I'd like one of them to be wrestling. If you don't have a wrestling goal, that's okay. But if you do, put that one down, okay? And then I want you to think of at least one that's outside of wrestling. Whether it's, whether it's like me, where I want to try to travel while I have time to, or if you want to be the CEO of some big company down the road, or whatever it is, write it down, okay? And then when you go home from this camp, look back at those goals and think about all the times in the past that you've worked to get yourself closer to that goal. And then think of the steps that, and write these steps down, the steps that it's gonna take from this day forward, what you have to do, you know? Do I need to, to finish high school with a good GPA so I can get into a good college, so I can get hired by a good company and, and become that CEO? Or is it is it with wrestling, you know, do I need to do I need to go to more camps? Do I need to put more effort into my practices? Do I need to find better practice partners? You know, what are those steps that need to be taken to reach those goals? Just remember, you only, you know, every day is an opportunity. Every day is an opportunity to put a little more in that bank account, so the more towards the goal. So you have to take advantage of it. You're the only one to decide how much you put in. Um, <coughs> your chat, so what was the question? So she asked, uh, how was kind of my childhood up until now? What was it like? What were the experiences I had? And, and what did I what did I do to get to where I am? Yeah, so uh, I think Levi said it before. I'm from Kenwick, just down the road. Went to Pike in high school. Um, I started wrestling pretty young, and and I tried a bunch of other different sports. You know, I tried uh, baseball, football, uh, some karate stuff like that. But I I kind of fell in love with wrestling when I was pretty young, and um, and I didn't I didn't get a ton of exposure. As you guys know, it's kind of a long ways to travel. The tournaments around here, you know, there's not a lot that, that you don't have to get in the car and drive a couple hours to do. So when I was pretty young, you know, I'd go to a couple tournaments a year, but I'd practice all year. And uh, and then as I as I continued down the road, I kind of went and started going to more tournaments and uh, more tournaments the next year. Did freestyle and Greco growing up. Um, I had I had great parents that took me. You know, all over the state of Washington, into Oregon, uh, find some tournaments, find some competition, competition. and uh, and because I was passionate about wrestling, uh, that kind of drove me in other aspects of my life. You know, I knew that to be able to wrestle, I also had to do good in school. You know, and I couldn't be getting in trouble on the side because um, if any of those other categories in my life was lacking, that means that the wrestling side had to be sacrificed. I like to get everything else in line. Uh, so, yeah, as a kid, I uh, fell in love with the sport and, and kind of made it my, my, my passion. Uh, and went through high school wrestling, picked up a couple of state titles, and ended up uh, getting a scholarship to Boise State. Uh, and then from there, just kind of continued down that path, you know. I, I, I kind of built a uh, passion for the sport as I went. I didn't, you know, when I was young, didn't really know if I liked it. Uh, and then until high school, I was like, I like it, but I don't know, you know, how where this is going to take me, how serious I was about it. And then by the time I was in college, I was like, yeah, this is, this is what I want to be doing, you know. And, uh, and yeah, so went to college, and, and I was fortunate to have awesome teammates, awesome coaches at Boise State. Uh, met a bunch of really cool people. Uh, Great connections. I got to travel all over the country wrestling. You know, that's one good thing about our sport is, you know, it's own downfall. You have to travel. So 
you like getting out and seeing new places, it's a pretty cool sport. Even though some of the places are like part of the world. Yeah. Yeah.
I got the travel bug too. You know, I, I like seeing other cultures. Um, I like food, so that's always big when we decide where we want to go. It's like looking on the TV, we're like that looks good. Let's go to Peru, you know, or, or whatever it is. Um, and and it's affected me. I mean, I've been to I think 12 countries outside the U.S. now, and um, some in Europe, some over in Asia. Uh, and I've seen a, a broad spectrum of how people live, you know, all the way from third world countries uh, to, to first world countries who just live very differently than, than how we live over here. And uh, it's made me realize that, like, you know, there's, there's more way than one to skin a cat, right? There's more, way to get, more ways than one to get something done. We, we think of our kind of... Um, our purpose or whatever is this really local, you know, what's going on in our community, in our city, maybe in our state. Um, and, and we tend to get comfortable in that little bubble. And it's only until you, you see something completely different that you're like, kind of like, whoa, get that culture shock. And, and you're like, wow, they're, they're still doing the same thing we are, but it's, it's completely different, you know. They don't, they don't work during the day. They sleep during the day and they work at night. They do it because it's hot over there, right? But, it's crazy to us, and we don't see people out there doing that. Um, so yeah, it's just it's widened my eyes. Um, I've got a, you know, I'm more appreciative to, to just everybody, regardless of the circumstances that they're in. You know, people live in different ways. People have different struggles and different different lives. So it just opened my eyes to that. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, what's your next goal? My next goal. Um, the next goal for me, I'm trying to change jobs right now. So I've been I've been working towards a job change, um, trying to get some experience that's applicable to becoming a firefighter, and uh, and yeah, that's that's where my life is going right now.